Good evening, this is Chef Irving from Poke Ono. And now we're going to give you instructions about uh, how you're going to cook uh, your three course meal that we just did for cooking. Before we start, we're going to explain a little bit of uh, the concept. It's a three course meal. Each course comes with a sticker with a color that defines the courses. So the first course is yellow, that means the appetizer. The second course is red, that means it's the main course. And the dessert is in pink. So each course has its own bag also. So let's go to our first course. Um, this is how the dishes look when we take them out of the package. And remember that every package comes with uh, preparation for two persons. But we're only going to plate one course. So you, you have the idea how you're going to do it at home for two persons. So we're going to start with ingredients. We have beautiful batavi lettuce from Happy Phonics Saruba, wakame salad, poki tuna already marinated with a poki dressing and mango, chicharron, a uh, sweet potato cream, and a mayonnaise with uh, spicy mayonnaise. Sorry. So um, let's uh, start plating. First thing we're going to do is we're going to place the tuna in the middle of the plate. Just by turning the cup down with the tuna, you tap a little bit on it, shake it, and it comes out. Then we have uh, the sweet potato cream. With your scissors at home, you just cut a little bit of the uh, point of the piping bag and we put a little bit, a few dots around the plate. Remember it's for two persons, so we want to stop off. Then spicy mayonnaise. Same procedure, just cut the tip of the piping bag. You put a few dots around. A little bit more. And one of top. Then we have our beautiful batavia lettuce. We have a few because it's a salad. A few on top. And a little bit of the wakame salad. You have to equally divide them into two. You're doing it at home. So it's quite easy. Then you sprinkle a little bit of the chicharro on top of the organic side. Now we're going to start with our uh, main course and these are the ingredients that come in the package. Again, for two persons. So we have uh, the breaded chicken breast, two chicken breasts breaded with the Japanese pumpkin. We have a uh, white rice, happy pack for two persons. We have pickled cucumber, beautiful microgreens from Petit Green Saruba, one egg. Soy sauce mixed with a little bit of maggi sauce. We have uh, green onions with uh, mixed with uh, black and white sesame. Uh, Napa cabbage and a mixture of onions, uh, carrots, and garlic. The sauces are tonkatsu sauce and uh, spicy peanut sauce. So let's start with our dish. 
first we want to cut the vacuum pack use your scissors Okay. Want to grab it out and we're gonna deep fry it. You wanna deep fry your breast until they're golden brown. You want it to be darker in color. So when they're beautiful golden brown, you just tra transfer them to the oven. Heat your pan, add two tablespoons of olive oil, let it become a little bit smoky, meanwhile we check our breaded chicken, in a bowl, and open the rice. everything in the bowl because it's vacuum packed it's not you know, fluffy and weary so we want to mash it a little with your hands you can do it at home without the gloves you can do it with the gloves depends so mash it with it and loosen all the grooves so you can start staining. So we can see that our chicken is nice golden brown. So it's gonna be moved towards the oven. The rice is gonna start with a mixture of carrots and um, garlic and onions and the oil is hot, add them to the oil and some potato until they're completely nice and translucent and stir frying, the thing you want to hear constantly is the shh don't want them to start um, Drawing moisture and start chewing, so you, you want them to keep sauteing. Uh, you're gonna add your rice. And it's called stir fry. So you have to keep stirring. Complete. cabbage and keep stir fry hear that shh constantly Gonna break the egg. Mix it on the white and the yellow. Sorry, well, I want to try more completely mixed together. Stirring. So make sure you don't burn the carrots or the onions or your fried rice is going to be bitter, especially the garlic. And you make a hole in the middle of the pan or the wok. 
you have a walk at home, it's better. I'm going to pour our egg in the middle. Slowly, scramble it until the egg is fully cooked. And you see that the egg is already um, cooked. A little bit of water to runny, you mix the rice. So you don't overcook the egg. Mix it. You still hear that. Now we're going to add the soy sauce. Guys, you bring your heat down to low. So now you don't want it to stain, we're just keeping it hot while we finish the dish. Always, it's very important to taste before adding salt. The salt level is already perfect. So we have the mixture of chives or green onions with uh, the sesame seeds. And we turn it off. It's already done. We have our fried rice. We call it Japan yaki mesh. And we're gonna plate the dish. Okay, we want to divide equally the rice. On the plate. We're going to take everything in the middle of the plate. We don't have to put everything. Just put a little bit and uh, divide it in two plates. And the rest we put in a little more and put it in the middle of the table. So when you want more rice, you just scoop a little bit more every time. Turn it around. We have our compasso chicken, fried chicken, and we season it with a little bit of uh, Hawaiian uh, salt. Whatever salt you have at home is uh, perfect. And we put a little leaning against the rice, like this. We have two of our sauces. We have the mokasu, so the tip off. Remember, it's for two people. Okay. We're going to do a zigzag pattern. So, then we have spicy peanut dressing. It's like a peanut sauce, uh, cold, a little bit of uh, Lemon to it so it's also refreshing. So we're gonna do the same procedure. A little bit more. Same procedure. The pattern of chicken. For two persons also. I'm gonna finish it off with uh, the pickled cucumbers and the microgreens. Get a little bit of the pickled cucumbers. Playfully, we put them around. They have a nice acidity. We 
pickle them with uh, vinegar, uh, spices. And the beautiful microgreens from Petit Greens. If you don't have a tongue and wound, just use your hands. And there we have it. It's the tonkatsu, yakimeshi, pickled cucumber, and microgreens. Okay, now we're going to go for the last course, which is our dessert, and it's the Asian trifle. This is how it looks when we take it out of the package. Everything is again for two persons. We have uh, only two methods with uh, pineapples. We marinate them with a syrup made out of uh, Chinese spice spice. We have a spiced crumble. It's a regular crumble mixed with sesame seeds and uh, five spices. We have a Hawaiian uh, Black lava sauce. It's a coke, basically coconut. A custard made out of lemongrass and coconut. A beautiful amaranth microgreens from Petit Greens. So let's start. I'm gonna open the vacuum pack. Remember, you want all sauce and everything into your tribe. First, first we're gonna go with the, the sauce, the black lava sauce. Split divide into two rock glasses. You can do that in uh, Martini glasses, whatever you have at home. We have per person six pineapples and six cantaloupe melons. I'm uh, sorry, what do you do, melons? Put them on top of the sauce. Then we would like to get a little bit of syrup again to top that. Now we're gonna open the custard. And I suggest you to just cut a point like this and use the packet pack as a piping pack before the custard. By the way, it equally for two persons. Then we have our crumble. We put the crumble on top. Also for two persons. I'm gonna finish it. Beautiful Amaran micro beans from Petit Greens. This is our dessert. So it's an Asian trifle. The trifle is something in a glass. It has to be layered. And this one has beautiful Asian flavors. We ask you to stay tuned for the menu for next week. And make sure to hashtag us on Coco Ono or Urban Cruise at your social media. We want to see how you do at home. 